Catania is the second largest city in Sicily in terms of size, with a population of approximately 300,000 people. It is found on the east coast of Sicily, along with Taormina and Syracuse, with which it shares a lot of its history. Catania is located at the foot of Mount Etna. Its proximity to this volcano has had both positive and negative impacts. While volcanic ash has made the local soil very fertile, the volcano has at times caused devastating destruction to the city. The old town of Catania is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is noted for its history, culture, architecture and gastronomy. The village of Catane was occupied in 729 BC by Greek settlers from Naxos. It was ruled by Euarchos as the Greek culture permeated this area. The poets Ibicus and Stesichorus, approximately 600 BC, lived and were buried in Catania, hence Potta Stesichorea. North of Catania is the Riviera of the Cyclops, a stunning coastline enveloped in a number of mythical stories. In Homer's Odyssey, Odysseus blinded the Cyclops Polyphemus and outsmarted him in order to escape. The Cyclops Polyphemus is said to have created some of the coastline by throwing rocks in a wild rage at Odysseus as he fled. And Galatea becomes entangled in a tragic love triangle with Polyphemus and Asis. Xenophanes, the philosopher, lived here in Catania, possibly in exile. The philosopher Charondas in the 6th century BC created famous laws which were adopted across Sicily and southern Italy. Catania remained proudly independent until it was overthrown by the tyrant Hieron of Syracuse in 476 BC. Hieron expelled the population of Catania and instead installed a mix of people from Syracuse and a number of Peloponnesians. He labelled himself as the founder of the new renamed city of Aetna after the nearby volcano. After the expulsion of Thrasybulos, the people of Syracuse combined with Ducetius, king of the Seychelles and a native Sicilian, to expel these new settlers of Catania to Inessa. The original people of Catania returned to the city in 461 BC. In the Peloponnesian War, the Athenians forced their way into the city. Catania was used as a base for the Athenian army against the nearby city of Syracuse. The fall of the Athenians to Syracuse left Catania in peril, but it was rescued by the Carthaginian invasion of Sicily in 409 BC. Catania fell to Dionysus I of Syracuse in 403 BC. The first example of dancing to the music of the flute is attributed to Andron of Catania. The mercenaries fled in 396 BC to Aetna as the Carthaginian army of Himilco and Mago approached. After the naval battle of Catania, Catania eventually fell into the hands of Carthage. As Timoleum landed in Sicily in 344 BC, Catania, led by Mamercus, initially allied with him. This alliance did not last long as Mamercus later reneged 
and joined with the Carthaginians. Timoleon was unimpressed and expelled Mamacus from Catania in 338 BC. Catania's freedom and independence was restored. Catania did ally with both Syracuse and Carthage at different times. Catania was, was the first Sicilian city to receive Pyrrhus of Epirus as he landed in Sicily in 278 BC. The Latin word of Catinus was the name of the city in this period, reflecting its distinctive geographic location of a basin or a bay. During the First Punic War, Catania was quick to pledge loyalty to the Roman Republic and Valerius Messalla. As a result, it was forced to pay annual taxes to Rome. As a result of enjoying benevolent relations with Rome, Catania prospered without enjoying the full independence of Tauromenium, modern Taumina, and Messana, which is modern Messina. The first servile war in 135 BC caused Catania to be taken by rebel slaves. 121 BC saw a major eruption of Mount Etna, which damaged a large number of houses across the city. The Piana di Catania, to the southwest of the city, is an agricultural district which was very fertile and did help feed the region in this period. Cicero called Catania a wealthy and flourishing city. Catania was one of the main Sicilian ports for the export of grain under Roman rule. During the Sicilian revolt of 44 BC, Catania quickly allied with Sextus Pompeius. Sextus boasted a large army and navy at Messana, bolstered by numerous slaves. After the victory of Augustus in 36 BC, lots of Sicilian farmland was abandoned and later distributed to the loyal supporters of the winners. Augustus restored Catania to the status of colony and the city flourished during the reign of the Roman Empire. The revolt led by the gladiator Celurus in 35 BC caused chaos in Catania for some time. Catania boasts the largest Roman aqueduct in Sicily, some 24 kilometres in length. In the 4th century, Ausonius stated Catania and Syracuse stood above all other Sicilian cities. The Vandals sacked Catania in 440 to 441 AD. Catania was reconquered in 535 AD by the Eastern Roman Empire and became the seat of Byzantine rule of the island. In 902 AD, Catania was sacked during the Muslim conquest of Sicily. During an era known as the Emirate of Sicily, Catania was known as the City of the Elephant. This was a heavily agricultural area, growing pulses and citrus fruits. Catania was ruled by the Islamic Emirate of Sicily between 875 AD until 1072 AD, when it fell to the Normans, led by Roger I of Sicily. In 1090 AD, the Cathedral of Catania was built by Roger I of Sicily. Between 1194 and 1197, the city was sacked by German soldiers under Emperor Henry VI, the Holy Roman Emperor. Later, Frederick II would build Castello Ursino. Catania was, was a focus of the Sicilian Vespers Revolt in 1282 against the House of Anjou. In 1296, the Parliament at Catania 
elected Frederick of Aragon, the King of Sicily. It was also the seat of Peter I, King of Sicily. In 1434, King Alfonso V built the oldest university in Sicily, and this opened in 1445. In the early 16th century, Sicily became part of the Spanish Empire. Sicily rebelled against this foreign rule in 1516 and 1647. In 1669, the city suffered great material damage from the eruption of Etna. The city itself was greatly protected by its fortified walls, which diverted a lot of the lava away from the city centre into the port. The construction of Chiesa di San Nicolo Larena began in 1687. In 1693, the city was again obliterated by an earthquake. Catania was now rebuilt in the Baroque architecture for which it is now famous. La Fontana del Elefante was installed in Piazza del Duomo in 1734. Vincenzo Bellini, the famous opera composer, was born in Catania and known for the bel canto era. Giovanni Pacini, the famous opera composer, was born in Catania, but lived to be overshadowed by Bellini and Verdi. In 1862, Giuseppe Garibaldi's Thousand held Catania. It now remained part of a reunified Italy. The Vincenzo Bellini monument was erected in Piazza Stesigoro in 1882. The opera Cavalleria Rusticana is based in the village of Vizzini, the park Giardino Bellini, the oldest urban park in Catania, opened in 1883. The opera house Teatro Massimo Bellini opened in 1890. Nino Martoglio started a theatre company in Catania and went on to become a film director. Much of his published work was in Sicilian language rather than Italian. Historically, there was always a reluctance to broadcast in Sicilian language. World War II brought heavy bombing, 78 air raids by the Allied Air Forces, which were focused on two airfields, Gerbini and Fontanarossa, and Port. Many of the population fled to the countryside for safety. Catania was eventually captured by the British 8th Army. After the war, Catania led attempts to achieve the economic development enjoyed by the north of Italy. Catania faced the common issues of the Mezzogiorno region, undevelopment and the threat of organised crime. During the 1960s, Catania was the focus of economic and cultural advancement. 